Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. Really enjoying the, the current very heavy proton fall and the solar winds that are coming in. I'd like to talk for a moment about the antisocial personality. Just a quick uh, precis of things that I've put here and there in various blogs uh, until now. Uh, my feeling right now, the current state of my theory and hypotheses about the antisocial personality uh, has to do with the function of the heart chakra, the astral function of the heart chakra, and what happens into the brain because of the uh, unusual function of the heart chakra. I think that the antisocial personality in very early childhood experiences an extreme instance of, of trauma with regard to its, its mother, and maybe its mother and father, or its father. There's been an instance that has become insoluble for it to the extent where the, the various uh, axitonal lines of light get glommed together and incorrect um, in a state of like total despair and extreme like anguish, the, the child comes up with a, a resynthesis of reality that, that's very dissimilar to what everyone else thinks that the rules of reality are. And generally speaking, they call this the retreat into this self and not knowing that there's anybody but itself in the whole universe. The, the state that an infant is in, before it begins to know that its mother is something other than that which it can command to do what it wants, like give it milk, for instance. So, so the, the extremely young infant just thinks, here's an object that belongs to me, and now I have it, or it thinks, I want that object that belongs to me that I don't see right now, like that, right? So, so in the centers, the concentric circles of reality that begin with the individual, move out to the mother, and on to the natal family, and farther on onto the community and the world at large, and the universe, that person has reached, because of the early extremely anguished situation that occurred, has retreated to the notion that there's only it, or that the thing that happened, which caused it such anguish in relation to its parent, is the thing that always happens, you know, with every family. So, so in the one case where there's only I, that becomes the antisocial personality who draws into itself all of the, uh, through the heart chakra, all of the energy of love from everyone, as in, give me the nipple, give me the milk, and never knows that there's another being out there that, that it needs to send love to as well. So, so the function of the heart chakra is almost solely to bring in energy, which it receives from other people. When the heart chakra is half shut down in this way, the mind, the mental body, does not function right. The functions of the mind are almost always confined to the, that of the primitive brain. And there are important aspects of the brain that are, that are not used at all. Okay, so very strong in the thinking of the antisocial personality are the feral drives, including territorial aggression, uh, sexual aggression, um, dominance and submission, S and M, sadism and masochism, um, uh, and pack ordering, and wanting to be on top of alpha male or alpha female. Those desires. Um, Probably there are more, but those are the ones I'm thinking of right now that characterize the, the, um, the antisocial personality. And in this case, I see my, the hope, the only hope that I can think of is the incoming light, which may repair the heart chakra and restore the brain to better functioning. Uh, because out there in the social world right now, there's really no, um, there's no answer. The only answer lies in the light.